Good evening, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. As I continue on my part series, the week that was college football history review, the 1980 college football season. This is week number four already. Already week four for September 27, 1980. The games that are played. We're going to start with a big game. This is a big game right here. Number three, Nebraska against number 11, Penn State. And number three, Nebraska beat number 11, Penn State, 21-7. Stat sheet was filled with negatives for Penn State. Seven turnovers, nine surrendered sacks, 189 yards rushing, with two touchdowns for Husker I back Jarvis Wedbrun. Score could have been worse. Nebraska quarterback Jeff Quinn completed 12 of 17, 158 yards, and tallied one yard touchdown keeper. Huskers defensive ends Jimmy Williams and Derry Nelson each had two sacks, while Nelson also pounced on nervous quarterback Jeff Hostetler's second fumble of snap to set up Quinn's touchdown that opened scoring. Now, Nebraska defense set up another score as Defensive back Sammy Sims returned first of his two interceptions to Penn State 20-yard line, three plays before Wet Ryan, Red Ryan scored on a three-yard run for 14-0 lead. Now, Penn State soon marched 76 yards behind freshman quarterback Todd Blackledge. It's a three-yard touchdown run by Kurt Warner, who had 84 yards rushing on 16 carries that have deficit at 14-7. Next, North Carolina. Number 14 team in the country beat number 19 Maryland. 17-3. Impressive star Hills defense held Maryland star tailback Charlie Wasaki to 17 yards rushing and forced him into three fumbles. Gunshot Wasaki lost one was on team's first two plays. Another late in the first half on hit by North Carolina linebacker Lee Schaefer. With recovery being made by cornerback Greg Poole on Terrapin's 35-yard line, this troublesome turnover set motion odd penalty against Maryland. Now, it appeared North Carolina tailback Aim, famous Amos Lawrence fumbled possession right back. So Terps offense just raced on that field. Now Maryland was assessed 15-yard penalty on no call. A 15-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Rod Elkins to Lawrence. Quickly followed by followed for a 10 nothing lead. Now the Terps quarterback, future NFL coach Mike Tice, moved offense to 50-yard field goal by kicker Dale Castro in the third quarter but then lost fumble in fourth quarter. That Tar Heels converted into clinching six-yard touchdown run by tailback Kelvin Bryant. So on Monday, North Carolina at the time entered AP's top 10 for the first time since 1949. The 1949 team that featured halfback Charlie Choo Choo Justice was ranked number six for three weeks. Next, we got Miami versus Florida State, where Miami upset number nine Florida State 10 to 9. Miami's best start since 1954 was preserved by a hard working nose guard, Jim Burke, who deflected pass by quarterback Rodrick Stockstill on two point conversion attempt at the late touchdown that was late that was made by Florida State. Stockstill had just thrown 11 yard touchdown pass to tight end Sam Shouders to trim deficits at 10 9. Jim Burke had nine tackles in the ball game and led the nation's top ranked rushing defense giving up only 65 yards in total in four games that allowed only 25 yards rushing. His harassment of Florida State centers led to 10 botch snaps, five loss on his fumbles. Miami quarterback Miami quarterback Jim Kelly ran in one yard touchdown late in the second quarter. Kicker Dan Milk kicked a 26 yard field goal late in the third quarter to provide scoring. Now, Jim Kelly's touchdown was set up by a controversial interference penalty on Seminole safety Gary Henry, while Miller's field goal was partially blocked by cornerback Bobby Butler. For the first time since 1969, the Hurricanes of Miami outdrew NFL Dolphins on mutual home weekend. Next, South Carolina upset Michigan, the number 17 team in the country, 17 to 14. Southern South Carolina tailback George Rogers earned national claim by rushing for 142 yards and touchdown against highly reputable defense. Now, still, Michigan Wolverines led 14 3 at halftime on a pair of touchdown passes by quarterback John Wrangler to wide receiver Anthony Carter. Michigan took its opening drive of third quarter to Carolina eight-yard line 
but in critical reversal. For back there, it was a struggle that bounded into end zone for touchdown. Touchback. Now, Gamecocks countered with 80-yard drive that featured pass interference penalty that negated interceptions by University of Michigan safety Tony Jackson. Rodgers capped this voyage with two-yard touchdown run that brought Cox to within 14-10. Now, what happened next would have been surprising for most teams, stunning for conservative Michigan coach Bo Schimbecker, who apparently fearing Rodgers called fake punt from his 29-yard line, but South Carolina defensive back Chuck Feeney Stop that was on fourth and one run to tack, take a possession. It took seven plays for Gamecocks to tell back Johnny Wright to score a winning one yard touchdown run. The Wolverines drove to Carolina three yard line before throwing an incomplete pass on game's final play. Next. Oklahoma, the number four team in the country, lost to Stanford 31-14. Quarterback John Elway engineered one of his most memorable collegiate wins, leading rebounding Cardinals to roll upset that snapped Oklahoma's 20-game home winning streak. Despite absence of halfback Darren Nelson out with Hebrew's hip, Stanford built 17-0 halftime lead that they stretched to 31-0 as Sooners committed seven turnovers. In rainy conditions, Elway threw for 187 yards in the first half, scoring touchdowns running and passing. Cardinals wide receiver Andre Tyler caught two touchdown passes. It took most of the day with quarterback J.C. Watts. Finally, cranked up offense and ran for a pair of four-quarter touchdowns to get Oklahoma on the board. And finally, number 13, Washington, was upset by Oregon, 34-10. A quarterback, Reggie Old Ogburn ran for two touchdowns and passed for three third for the Oregon team that erupted for 21 points in the fourth quarter. Game started well for the Huskies as safety Ken Gardner took punt 65 yards to end zone for his opening score. Kicker Chuck Nelson provided 10 3. Washington lead by Matt Marching. Field goals was Oregon kicker Pat English held to 187 yards in total offense. Huskies were hard pressed to add to point total as Ducks completely eliminated big plays. So Ogburn threw six yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Kurt Jackson and ran a touchdown keepers up three yards and one yards. Cornerback Steve Brown adds to Oregon's fourth quarter scoring explosion with 36 yard interception touchdown return. So that includes a look at week four. The games are played on September 27th, 1980. Week number four. Let's get into the September 29th AP poll. Number 20 was Baylor. Number 19, Florida. 18, South Carolina. 17, Penn State. 16, Florida State. 15, Stanford. 14, Arkansas. Number 13 was Miami. 12 was Oklahoma. 11, UCLA. The top 10 round as this. Number 10, North Carolina. 9, Missouri. 8, Georgia. 7, Notre Dame. 6, Pittsburgh. 5, Texas. Number 4, Southern California. 3, Nebraska. 2, Ohio State. And number 1, Alabama. So that concludes a look at college football season review. The 1980 college football season for week number four. The games are played on September 27th, 1980. So please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. I do avail this match to on Thursday. Until then, talk to you on Thursday.